In 2010, Caterpillar did the unthinkable. They walked away from the on-highway truck engine business. Overnight, America's most trusted diesel brand vanished from our highways. But here's what nobody told you. This wasn't a surrender. It was a strategic nuclear strike on the entire industry. The real reason will change how you see diesel engines forever. For decades, cat diesels were the gold standard. These weren't just engines, they were mechanical legends. The 3406E could clock 2 million miles before rebuilds. Truckers literally built their careers around them. 2006, 38% market share in Class 8 trucks, 1.2 million highway engines in service, 97% customer loyalty rate, unmatched. These engines were so bulletproof, mechanics had to invent problems just to stay in business. But in 2007, everything changed, and Cat saw the apocalypse coming. EPA 2010 emission standards demanded the impossible. 90% cleaner diesels overnight. Competitors scrambled to invent DEF systems and DPFs, but CAT engineers knew the dirty truth. Their legendary mechanical injection couldn't comply. New SCR systems cost $15,000 more per engine. Reliability would plummet 40% initially. R&D costs $2-plus billion with no guarantee. It was like forcing a steakhouse to go vegan. Possible, but why kill what made you great? Mining construction engines earned three times more profit. On-highway represented just 8% of revenue. CAT's core customers hated the new tech. A thriving black market now rebuilds CAT engines with secret emissions workarounds. Some shops charge $35,000 plus to retrofit 3,406 E's into modern trucks, proving CAT's exit created its own economy. These ghost engines often outlast modern DEF systems by 500,000 miles, making them the ultimate outlaw status symbol among owner-operators. But here's what really happened behind closed doors. CAT didn't lose, they pivoted. While competitors bled billions on emissions tech, CAT won. Doubled down on mining off-road, 75% margins, too sold their remaining highway inventory at premium prices 3. Let Navistar take the EPA compliance heat. While CAT abandoned highways, their industrial engines now power 78% of America's oil fields and mines. The C-32 industrial variant makes 1,850 horsepower, nearly triple its trucking cousin. This pivot earned CAT $9.2 billion last year alone, proving sometimes retreating from battle wins the war. Diesel purity lives on, just not on interstates. Competitors' warranty claims exploded. Post-2010, cat mining equipment sales grew 300%. Used 3406, these now sell for triple their original price. Today, one cat 797 mining truck earns more profit than 100 highway engines ever could. Cats abandoned on-highway customers now pay $50,000 to retrofit old 3406Es into new trucks. Caterpillar didn't quit trucking. They outsmarted it. In chasing short-term emissions wins, the industry lost something priceless. Indestructible simplicity. Maybe that's why today, at truck stops nationwide, you'll still hear one phrase more than any other. They don't build them like Cat used to. Drop a like if you've driven a Cat-powered rig. Subscribe because next week we're exposing why modern diesels self-destruct before 500,000 miles. Comment below. Should Cat make a comeback with a clean sheet highway engine? Until next time, keep your oil clean and your expectations low.